Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Liz Howard and appears in this collection, The Next Wave, an anthology of 21st century Canadian poetry, edited by Jim Johnstone, published by Ann Struther Books in 2018. The poem I'm going to read is midway through the anthology and is entitled, Awake. Your eyes open, the night slow static at a loss to explain this place you've returned to from above. Cedar along a broken shore, twisting in a wake of fog. I've lived in rooms with others of no place and no mind, trying to bind a self inside the contagion of words while your eyes open the night slow static at a loss to understand all that I cannot say. As if you came upon the infinite simply by thinking and it was a shore of broken cedar twisting in a wake of fog. If I moan from an animal throat, it is in hope you will return to me what I lost learning to speak. Your eyes open, the night slow static at a loss, to ever know the true terminus of doubt, the limits of skin. As long as you hold me, I am doubled from without and within. A wake of fog unbroken, ashore a twisted cedar. I will press myself into potential, into your breath, and maybe what was lost will return in sleep once I see your eyes open into the night slow static at a loss, broken on a shore of cedar. We twist in a wake of fog. Um, and that was Liz Howard from... The Next Wave, an anthology of 21st century Canadian poetry, um, edited by Jim Johnstone, published by Ann Struther Books in 2018. If you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about the poet, as well as where to purchase this anthology, um, and also information about the other projects I'm currently working on. I'm grateful for each of you and for your uh, your continued support of this series. Uh, we recently hit our 100 subscriber mark, which is incredible to me. Uh, I When I started this, I, I thought I would be certainly speaking to the void, uh, uncertain who would be committed enough to return on a regular basis or find interest in these readings. Largely, uh, I felt this was an opportunity for me at the beginning of the pandemic to have a space to continue to participate in reading and celebrating the work of other poets, um, even if I can't be physically inside of the same rooms, um, especially now that I've moved back to Canada, I am grateful uh, in some small measure to be able to reacquaint myself and to introduce and learn um, and be introduced to new poets through, through these reading experiences. I'm grateful for that power of poetry and the power of the printed word um, to give us an opportunity to have an, a, an encounter with the spoken word as well. It is uh, something magical to be able to read and translate it into an oral experience and then to process that oral experience again. Um, so I hope you're enjoying these readings and these poems. If you are, please consider subscribing to the channel, uh, hitting the like button, or commenting below in any small, these all small, what seem like small gestures are actually quite significant. They enable YouTube to, to highlight these videos, make it easier for other people to discover these poets and these poems. And the more you share on social media, the easier it is for these poets to get recognized. I don't know, I'm doing my small part. Hopefully you can do a little bit too. Um, if you have suggestions for poets or poems that you'd like to see featured, please do comment or send me an email. Uh, let me know. I'll do my best to, to figure out where to fit them into the series. Um, if it's possible for me to get a hold of a print copy, that always makes my life easier. I, I like being able to read from the physical book, um, but I'm happy to work with whatever the limitations we have are. Um, and uh, I think if there's anything else we really need to cover. Thank you for, for continuing forward. Uh, we are into October, 
and uh, the fall is around the corner, if it's not already for many of you, wherever you are. Um, for us, the leaves have already indeed fallen, and they're all over the front lawn, and there's plenty of raking and mulching to be done. So uh, I have a, a busy week ahead, but I am thankful um, that uh, I am able to enjoy all the different uh, sights and uh, sensations of the seasons where I'm living right now, and the incredible color of the changing leaves, changing skies, uh, the world that we live in. So I hope uh, you are appreciating beauty and uh, discovering art and inspiration for art wherever you are. Um, we will be back again, as always, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So uh, please stay tuned and check back often. We'll be, we'll be here with more poetry, and I'll be reading as always. So until next time, take care, stay safe and well. Do your part to share poetry and to, to continue to, to engage in that conversation with others. Um, one line, one image, one poem at a time. Um, and whether it's your writing and your voice or the voice of others, uh, to be able to be a part of that large conversation, I think is wonderful. And I hope that you find a way in. Uh, in fact, I know you will. Uh, just being here is part of that. So thank you. And we'll see you again soon. Take care until then.